Hello everybody, this is Bench85, and welcome to the first episode of Farming Simulator 17. That's right guys, we are actually starting this series right off the bat. I have not done anything in this world at all, just made sure some of my settings were right. I've gone through the help so I know kind of what's going on, figured I'd let you guys know. Oh. Digestic tank at the biogas plant, I'm assuming. And the pig manure heap. Well, I'm just going to turn it off. So apparently, you can have a helper go, like, let's say, your cow manure heap has manure in it he will go and get that and keep going until it's empty interesting I'm gonna keep them off for now so time scale doesn't matter because I adjust it as I go traffic I'm gonna keep on dirt on the vehicle is gonna be under slow so they don't get dirty immediately automatic automatic engine start just because when I get in I want it to start I don't want to have to press a button to start it just preference um, so I've got all of these off which normally they're on um, I'm in the easiest setting, just for purposes of I don't have to be as repetitive. At least as far as money goes, I'm going to keep fertilizer states at 1 for personal reasons, and I'll get into that as we start fertilizing things. I have periodic plowing required on to keep the yield high, just as an added thing because I like that. Plant withering is on, so you can't leave them in the fields like all the time it will die out on you which it should the old game did that too plant growth is on fast and do 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 do, do, do that doesn't really matter to you guys um, from what I was told actually when I was loading up the game here um, apparently these commodities shift based on supply and demand so like right now let's say here wheat is high here at Mary's farm you start shipping wheat there this price is going to start going down and it, these might start going up because you're selling everything to one spot. Ah, railroad. That means I think you can sell to the rail. Ooh, interesting. Um, things are flashing. I don't know why things are flashing. But anyways, we own these three fields. The, this is a giant field. This is probably a logging area, if I had to take a guess. Uh, there's probably one here, here. So we got one main highway here. We got town. Okay, okay. Shop is over here. Maplefield Mill. Claims to have the rail, but the rail doesn't go right next to it, apparently. Where are the cows? Here's the sheep. This is the cattle area. This is where you sell your animals because it, trust me, it goes a lot differently than you realize. Than it used to be. And uh, we'll get there at some point. This must be where the cows are. Interesting. So, I mean, if we're going to start things out right, we're going to have to start in this guy right here. And actually, do I have the ability? Let me attach this. Um, I don't think I can see the mods I have installed. It doesn't look that way. Uh, wait, is there... Oh, I guess there isn't more settings. Alright, so I can't really show you, but there is a couple things, and what's really cool, there's actually a setting... Oh, sorry, I need to unfold it first. There's actually a setting or uh, a couple mods from Giants themselves, the makers of the game that I have installed. They've released three of them so far and one of them is going to be the fact that, notice how dirty the tires got right away? Depending on what soil you're running on will change how things look on the uh, tires. On top of that, you'll notice the vehicle's moving around a little bit more. 
the actual lay of the land is a little bit more dynamic. Um, it's all based on soil, how, you know, if it's plowed up, if it's cultivated, if it's wet, those things all change how the vehicle drives. So they've definitely done some really neat things here. Let's see, is there... Oh, I think I would need to go to G. And then V lifts it, and there we go. So I'll just keep it running. Ooh. You know what? That's one setting that I don't like already. The... Where is it? Stop and go braking. Don't like it. Now if I back up here, it'll start backing up right away as soon as it's stopped, which is how I want it to be. And we're going to see how... That's cool, the RPMs actually cut down when it starts uh, working a little harder here. I have to see money-wise. Uh, should be okay, I think. The only thing that worries me is looking at the garage and seeing the maintenance costs. Especially for this combine. I think it's listing this combine at like two grand a day for maintenance purposes. So I think they want you to move up combine wise in a big hurry. So we kind of have to decide, I think, how we want to make our money here. Whether we do it cash cropping, which is probably entirely doable. Or if we want to start doing things, moving off into different avenues right away. Um, we could start getting into the logging business right away, but we'll have to see. We'd have to explore the map a little bit and see what's around here. Maybe we can pull some logs out from somewhere. But when you think about it, the problem with that is, is we're going to have to get some equipment to do that you know we're gonna need a chainsaw we're gonna need probably a loader tractor of some sort to load logs onto a trailer of some sort you see what I'm getting at we need money to make money so we might be better off just kind of you know doing our thing here for a little while at least uh, I think I can make the turn here that's also why I haven't hired um, a worker yet at least for now but uh, we're probably going to hire one here pretty soon. And we're going to start doing things. Let him start working and then we're going to start doing stuff um, as we go here. So I'm actually going to finish this pass. Actually, I'll go right here. Press H to hire. And I think we're going to have to start working up some of this ground here. So this one needs to be cultivated. That one up there just needs to be planted. we might as well get this guy in here and start digging. Now you'll notice this guy will start getting really muddy really fast. We're going to hire him too. Yeah, the tires got pretty muddy. And you'll actually start to see in some spots there will be dirt coming off the tires now. It's a very cool mod that they added in. Uh, I'm really glad that they did it. This guy I'm going to wait on because I like to plant everything at the same time. This is already connected. This is not connected. Now it's connected. So we're going to have to be over here ready because he's going to need to get emptied out here at some point. Um, look at our truck here. I like to explore a little bit on the map. I want to go crossed over there. Uh, so let's head up this way. Quick. Let's do a little bit of exploring. So there's the rail bridge. And we're not going to use the railroad until we absolutely need to. Because trust me, I want to. So bad. Let's go over here. I want to see what this is all about. 
This is just Pacific Grain. Ooh, a little slick there. Ooh, there's some bumps and stuff. Got some water we probably don't want to go into, so... Okay, their station rate is right there. Interesting. We're just going to drive around back and take a look. Try not to hit the rock. So that's just a drop point. Interesting. Okay, I want to go down this way. No, actually I gotta, oops. So I guess that's just a water point to get water on the map because then you got the river down there. I want to go this way. So I need to go back down and we should probably check. Oop, watch out for traffic. Ooh, that's a neat little house there. Ooh, there's a scooter, but you can't ride it. Uh, yes, this is right here. That is a tiny little bridge. Ah, uh, that's why it says narrow bridge. Ha, uh, how about that? So this is what I wanted to look at. So this is a bit of a mining, or not mining, a logging area. So we'll have to make a decision if we want to go up in here and do this kind of stuff. Or... It's a neat area. Uh, he's at 78%. Oof. Okay, so we are going to have to unload them pretty quick here. In fact, the beacons are going to turn on pretty darn quickly. And our money is dropping a bit. So I kind of, I'm, I'm worried to see on the first day here uh, how much it drops for maintenance purposes. Because it's not going to be cheap, I have a feeling. All the parts are actually working, aren't they? Oh yeah, the belts are turning. So that's the control, the uh, shaking arms there for the, uh, the straw walkers are what they're called. That help us sift stuff out. The double pulley on the right there, that's for changing the rotor speed. No, fan speed, because the fan is the lower one. The rotor speed is controlled on this side, which we can't quite see because of the grain. No, we didn't have one of these. Yeah, actually we did. That's the only reason why I can work this all out, because I've worked on 1660 quite a bit and actually the newer one that we got the 21 21 th I don't remember if it was a 2330 or 2130 whichever it is it's pretty close to a 1660 now what I do like is that the pipe doesn't come out even though it's flashing he waits until you get over here before he'll actually open that up which is really cool I just realized we gotta take this uh, cruise control down a little ways. Oh, he put it back in actually. We're going a little too fast. There we go. Move this back up to the front of the wagon. There, I like that. We're going to have to probably, uh, do I want to dump it? Is he going to wait? I think he's going to wait and unload everything. We're going to be pretty darn close to full here. So we might as well make a trip with it, right? Drop it off somewhere. That guy definitely unloads slowly. Yeah, we're at 81%. So I feel like we should fill up a little bit and then take it somewhere. Because I know we actually have some in here. Oh, R to start filling. So now we're full. And unlike in my intro video, we are not going to just dump it anywhere. So if I remember correctly, we're going to be better off going to 
uh, Mary's Farm. Do you notice how our tracks change? And as we drive on the pavement here, the mud is going to disappear from our tires because, well, we're shaking the mud loose, right? So I believe that's the road to Mary's Farm right there. And we're probably going to want to watch out. So this, this field right here would be a good one for us to purchase or, or work on at some point here. In fact, I might see what that mission is there. So let's pull out. Traffic looks good. And I kind of want to play with traffic just to see you know, how things are. Um, might as well make it a little bit more on the realistic side, right? We're not headed in the right direction, are we? No, because Mary's Farm's up there. Well, we can get there. We can cross the bridge and head back around. We're just going to end up taking the long way, and he's probably going to be full before we, uh, we get done here. Oops. Well, we can still travel on the map and see what it looks like. So this tractor cruises along pretty good, 26 miles an hour. I'm content with that. But the only thing I don't like is that the amount of fuel and stuff like that, it's still in liters. Like, you can change everything else to American-type things, but liters stays that way, apparently. So here's another field that's considered empty. Because if it's just a case where, oh, it needs to be either, like, fertilized or it needs to be cultivated or something like that. That's something we could do uh, right off the bat to make some extra money for uh, for our farm. So I think that would be something that's beneficial. And like you said, that one being close to us, it's actually a field that we could benefit from. That looks like a water puddle. But it doesn't actually act as a water puddle. Yep, so we got to head up this hill. Here we go. Oh, she's going to pull hard. No, oh, there is quite a bit of weight in this thing. So, Come on, shift down. You can get up this hill. It is all-wheel drive, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. We made it. So this is where you sell your cattle. All right. Well, good to know. Oh, that's a bunch of corn there. Uh, I think this is where you pick up livestock. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's the, the trailer post. That's cool. All right, so here's Mary's farm. They, ooh, she's got a nice, uh, nice pool there. So we want to do, I always like doing it out of the green door on the side, so, or no, out of the green door like that. Like to me that looks better. I mean it's going to take a little while, but I just like the way that looks. Otherwise I think it tips to the side. So there we go, and we got seven grand in harvest income, nice. And apparently that's a manure heap. Must be a sell point for manure. Just says unload here. Interesting. Oh, okay, so tip side to back, tip side grain door, tip side left, tip side right. So you can just tip back. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Um, I suppose the grain door is just for fine-tuned, um, if you want to fine-tune how much you dump, like take it slow. Oh, this looks like a fun trail. I'm not sure if the tractor would pulled this, pulled it up this hill, because this hill is very steep. Okay, so nobody coming from the left. 
we got a car to the right, but I think we're going to pull out and pull off into this lane. And now we should be good. So this is what I liked, or I didn't like about Farming Simulator 15, is that the traffic and the roads were quite small. Whereas this one, I mean, this I know this is the main highway, but you got a lot of room here. I wonder if it works the same way where do they like pull out to pass you? Um, or do they just wait behind you? Kind of want to slow down and find out. You gotta be a scientist, right? Okay, so they just slow down. Alright, well that's cool. Okay, this is where I wanted to see here. What is the mission for this one? No space for mission vehicles. Please remove your equipment. Oh. Sorry. Was I just too close? Yeah. We just hooked up with Major Distributor, but we really need to get our butts in gear. We're going to deliver what we assigned it for. On top of my head, I know that one of our fields is seated, ready for a top dressing. If you stop by, I'll make it worth your wait. So they want manure. Oh, so this is planted. Oh, yeah, because this is cultivated. This is planted. Oh, okay. Well, that was a $100,000 field, so... Nothing we're going to be getting to anytime soon. No traffic? Alright, let's go. So we'll just have to keep watch. Um, I think there's a wheat field or something nearby that we could probably see if they need to harvest. And we'll see. I'm curious if they will let us harvest with just anything, or do you need the exact um, vehicles that they are asking for? I feel like that's a good question, but it's something we can figure out here uh, as time goes by. He's still cultivating as we go here. Um, I just kind of wanted to let the, the workers work a little bit here and just kind of chat, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to be in a farming game here. Um, it's fun that there's a lot of aspects here that are very realistic. We're definitely going to have to get ourselves a fertilizer box of some sort. At least to, to be able to fertilize our fields here. While we're at it here, I kind of want to see if we've got a field nearby that's considered ready to harvest. That this combine could take care of. Helper H has completed their task. Well, thank you. And he's empty. So if I bring up this right here. Oh, see? 905. I think it was 900 something. So it went down already. So fruit types. We are looking at wheat. So this 20 is a big wheat field. So we got soil composition, we've got growth. Uh, it says it's ready to be harvested. And our truck is right nearby. Yeah, let's see if we can find, it's probably gonna be on the other corner. Let's find the other mission. Ooh, nice jump. Yep, it's right over here. Let's see if it's a harvest mission, because otherwise I might do this harvest mission right away. Hopefully it doesn't pick up the truck. Maybe you could help. This field is ready earlier than I expected, and all my regular guys are tied up with other work. If I don't get this in harvest, harvesting quick, it'll go past prime and be useless to me. 
53,000 is a small price to pay. Time for this mission, 110 minutes. So you get two hours to harvest this entire field. And this is listing the, wait a second. Oh, the combine changes. So is that just like recommended? Okay, so we might be able to do this mission. The question is, do we want to do it? Um, I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to see. Uh, there we go. Put that back. I want to see how this mission works. And, well, if we get the grain, like we can make money off the grain, that would be awesome. Um, if not, we get $53,000. So we might as well get this guy started. And, uh, and see. See how this all works. See if it'll let us um, do this. Wait a second. This is a different field right here. Is this one available to be done too? Because this is a much smaller one. <sighs> Please remove. Wait a second. Oh, you know what? Oh, this is soybeans, isn't it? Yeah, shouldn't have leaves on it though. If it's got leaves on it yet, it's not ready yet. It keeps saying that it need you need room, or it needs room for the harvest or the equipment, the mission equipment. Does that mean it actually spawns it in for you? So if we do this, seven one thirty and the thirty five foot. Where's the big one? There's the 45 foot. This guy right here. Oh, now it's only worth 41. Oh, it all depends on which combine you're using. The bigger combine pays less. Okay, so that starts this. That was a big combine. So we're just supposed to harvest it? Like, do we have to... Can we hire a worker to do it, or do I have to do it myself? Oh. Oh, it's got a nice big green bin. Um, you know what? It doesn't say to, uh, about hiring a, a worker. And it is collecting grain. So you know what? We may have to do this all ourselves by hand. But we get equipment to run with we probably should have picked the bigger one right because yeah I can't I can't hire um, a worker oh um, hope that doesn't matter wonder if it's uh, a percentage like you have to harvest a certain amount or something like that well I guess I'm just gonna keep rolling with this and I got just a tiny little bit left in this episode. I've been talking for almost a half an hour straight here. It's kind of crazy. And uh, we'll finish the episode out here, giving you an update on how this all works out. So I'll be back, guys, in well, a little bit for you guys. A little while for me. Alright, so I am bringing you guys back because if you haven't noticed, the little sliver of a green pie up there is almost full 
shouldn't take much more. I might even be able to do it before this pass is done. So apparently you don't have to get everything. But uh, basically, I mean, if we, we started at 110 minutes, so we're 50 minutes, 52 minutes in. So I've just been going back and forth. I keep the cruise on, and we just keep going back and forth. Now you'll notice the grain level in the bottom right there, the blue. It doesn't go up. It went up to about 88%, and it's slowed down to a crawl, so you can't actually fill up. There's no having to unload stuff there. The pie just filled in, so... At any minute here, we should get mission complete. Apparently uses fuel, but yeah, you don't have to actually empty stuff out. There we go. Oh, nice, we got a time bonus, too. And we got an achievement, help a fella out. Sweet. So all of a sudden, we have 105,000. Well, that was kind of cool. Um, I didn't ever get out of the combine because I was afraid something would happen. So I'm curious now, does it change like, so I did that one there, I go here, oh now they want thirsty for slurry, so they changed it, oh and this went down, see that, they're happy with us, this was 711,000 I think, now it's 687, how about that. So that's one little change that we got here. Um, we probably should not be driving towards the river. So I'm going to head back home here, which should be not this road, but the next road because our combine's sitting there, which we got to take back home because we don't actually need that combine here. Oh, there's a pole there. Oops. And a sign. Okay, so I can't drive. Apparently, I need to stop driving. Now this would be a nice little field to have right here, actually. In fact, well, let's just discuss what we're planning on doing here. So we got this field here that needs to be worked up. We have that field over there that just got worked up. So I think, where is he? This guy, yep. We're going to get him started over here, cultivating this field. Uh, right about there. So I'm going to let him do his thing. That actually does change the person. So now it's a, it's a lady helper. Uh, this is going to have to come back up. Let's go over here. Let's see how much this field costs. And apparently it's down at the bottom. Darn it. Because this would be an ideal field for us. Uh, it's in a good location. We could actually kick out the dimensions a little bit to get some more room here. Because um, you could actually take it all the way down past this road, which is actually kind of cool. 46,000 for 5,800 acres. So they want us to harvest this. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm curious if my mission stuff actually functions. Um, if I remember correctly, I only have 27 minutes to do this one. I'm going to make this work. So I think I need to use this first. So it's running. This is something I've never actually done before. Okay, yep. So it turns it into that. So that allows us then to, uh, to harvest. So I'm going to harvest this. And I'm not going to really show you guys this because we'll get there on our own. Uh, when we actually start exploring into the other crops. And then I'm going to purchase this field and cultivate it. And basically, I'm going to get all the fields cultivated um, for when we come back for next time. We'll talk about planting. We'll talk about um, 
fertilizing. And I don't know what else we'll talk about. I guess we'll find out when we get there. So with that, guys, thank you all for watching. And as always, take it easy.